He bets. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. to four. Yasiel Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez, one, over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. The network has baseball coming your way from the home of the Mets, City Field. Today, game three of this four-game series between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Robert Kesselman gets the ball for the Mets in this one. What do you have for us on MH? Well, he has really pitched well at home, and I, I don't know if it's the energy from the fans or he feels comfortable on this mound. However way you want to slice it, he's thrown well at home, and I think we'll get another good performance at home in this game. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Takes this the other way to right. Bruce is there and he makes the catch for the out. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. HR, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? I think the key to this game is you got a string hits together. They've got a nice lineup. And if they can continue to put the pressure on one guy to the next guy, just keep adding on the hits, they're going to score some runs. In now is Adam Eaton. And he's a guy that's not afraid to run if he gets aboard. Comes in ranked second on the team in stolen bases. Sent on the ground out to second. Gloved by Walker. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting third. Digging in Daniel, Daniel Murphy. Murphy and he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Yeah. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now and set up behind the plate Rusty Valentine as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Well, Matt, Rusty Valentine, don't you love that name, by the way? Hey, look, he likes to call a tall zone. He's going to go up high, and he's going to call on the knees. On the corners, he's a little tighter. But if you go up and down, you're going to get a call from Rusty. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Throws it on strike three for the final out of the inning. gone in order and now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time no score Joe Ross the California born right hander is on the mound HR what's the word on him well this is going to be a challenge for him because it's a road game and he hasn't pitched well on the road at all the numbers speak for themselves so he's got to figure something out whether it's concentration whether it's focus or whatever it might be but he's got to turn around that trend to give his team a chance to really finish the season out strong. Now at the plate Curtis Granderson and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Set to deal on two and two. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And another foul ball. <clears throat> He's right on that breaking ball. That's pretty good timing right there, especially falling up after a fastball. The 2 2 one more time. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. <laughs> 
He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Another try at 2-2. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, I think they have to be hoping for more out of Curtis Granderson. I mean, talk about a rough season. His batting average is sort of an eyesore right now. He just hasn't put it together all season long, and it's become somewhat of a topic of discussion around this team. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, and you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Bases are empty, one man out. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. Hit hard on the ground towards second. On to first and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Batting third. Digging in now. Joanna Cespedes. Currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Again, he sends it out of play. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Hit out towards second. Played on the backhand. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. An inning in the books, scoreless on MLB Network. Digging in, Bryce Harper. He enters play, hitting down in the 240s for the year. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The next 3-2. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Cespedes racing back. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Dorno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, He's got a great pitching staff to catch. Stepping in, Anthony Rendon. He comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. These Mets herald as they take the field here today. They enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah, Matt, I mean, it's been a little bit of up and down inconsistency. I mean, the two and three in this homestand haven't played solid baseball, but they got a chance to get to the 500 mark with a win in this game right here. And then after that, who knows? Maybe get on a nice streak. Weeders awaits the 1 1. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. He executed that one two curveball pretty well. I think it's right where he wanted it to end up but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Wright's got it. 
Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Standing in, David Wright. The average just a few ticks shy of 300 for the season. So perhaps a hit or two in this one could put him up over the top. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. HR, these Nationals as they take the field here today, they come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Yeah, Matt, I mean, this is the club that's in the middle of the season now, and we've been watching them up and down. They're in third place. They got to get on a roll because you got to track two teams down now, kind of put themselves in a situation where can't lose many games moving forward. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Well, that was a slider in a 3 2 count, and it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Three and one, here it is. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Into the Big Apple seats and gone. A two-run homer for Jay Bruce, number 11 for him on the season, as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. There's an old saying that the harder you throw, the farther it goes. How about this? Good fastball, and this ball is absolutely tattooed. See you later. Stepping in now, Neil Walker. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Another 0-2 coming. A fastball that just misses inside. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Again a 1-2. Lined into left field, a base hit. Well, that's a line drive to left field on a ball that was right down the middle. I know it's early in the game, and sometimes hitters will tell you what a pitcher has. If he doesn't start to put that ball in the corners, it's going to be a short game for him. In now, Lucas Duda. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Worth ranging back. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. On to first, and they get the double play. Now with the plate, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Two out, nobody on. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Now, Matt, this is the tough part of being the eight hitter. That ball's right down the middle. So it makes me wonder, is he trying to give his pitcher a breather, or is he just not being aggressive? With the pitcher hitting behind you, you get a ball groove, you got to take a big hat. Right side, hit hard. 
And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Well, that's a big hit right there. So often overlooked, but what it does, even if he doesn't get a hit here, the pitcher that is, now the pitcher's not leading off the next inning. You get the pitcher to the plate right now. Standing in now, Robert Gesellman takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. and two strikes here it is got him swinging and that will end the inning but the Mets do strike for two both coming on this two run home run we played two it's now two nothing New York here's Jason Worth He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. Here's the one and two delivery. And that misses two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. To short, hit hard. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. One and one, here it comes. And this is Pop foul off to the right and back into the seats. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting ninth. The pitcher now batting, three. Joe Ross. This guy's Ross. still looking at a zero in the hit column. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Nationals have yet to crack the hit column thus far. Grounded down the third baseline. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. They're down two to nothing. It is Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the one and one pitch. Whoa. And that one stayed too low apparently. You know what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Strike two called and it's even at two. He's ready with the two two pitch. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt Matty he's one of my favorites mostly because of the stuff. You know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the box as Drubal Cabrera. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Rounding first is Cabrera on his way to second now, and he is in at second base with a one-out double. Man, they already hit one home run, run, and I thought they had a second one right there. Not quite enough behind it, though, as it banged off the wall for a double. He's giving up a fair amount of solid contact right now.
Into the box now. Joanna Cespedes. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Ready on one and two. Now here's the drive out to right center field. Cabrera is on his way home. The run scores from second. It's a 3 nothing game. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. That right there is 500th RBI he drove in with that base hit. You know, now you start talking about the big boys when you start getting the 500 RBI territory. In now, David Wright. He can't do much with that one, and it's one and two. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Hard hit ball to second. Murphy has it. Throw to first is in time to take care of Wright, and that's the second out. Here's Jay Bruce now. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. That's popped up, out towards short right field. Murphy onto the grass. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. Three complete from City Field. It's 3 0 New York. Matt Vaskersian back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And starting out the inning, it'll be the exciting speedster Trey Turner. Here's the one and one delivery. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Branderson's after it, makes the play one away. Center fielder, number two. Riding in once again, Adam, Adam Eaton. Eaton comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. Slice down the left side, but foul. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball to end up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Got him. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strikeout there. And I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will not. Just slicing foul at the very last moment. So close to extra bases. Hit softly on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. They trail in this one, three nothing. Here's Neil Walker. He'll match up now with Joe Ross to lead off the inning. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Right over the middle, knee high. Here comes the payoff pitch. And Walker will reach. It's a base hit. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. That's just really good hitting. Look, I like the decision. 3-2 changeup. Oh, Most guys are not going to hit that ball. He located and made his pitch, but he just got beat by a good hitter. Yeah. 
Here's Lucas Duda now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows Bobby. smoke by a guy at the Bobby. letters. That's the ultimate Bobby. challenge pitching. For oh, me personally, no. watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Standing in now, Travis Darno. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll take this over to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Robert Gaselman. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far, and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple lay off that slider and make it bring up something straight that strikes them. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Mets strand one, but they lead it 3 nothing. Here's Bryce Harper now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. And there's the first hit of the game for the Nats. Hey, Matt, it's fun to watch good pitching. Don't get me wrong, but, man, I want to see some Third offense. I'm a hitter. I like run score. Anthony Fifth inning, about Rendell. time they got a hit. Stepping in now, Anthony Rendon. Very high, two and one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to Ed either. This starter is... And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. So a chance here to perhaps get on the board for the first time as he's into scoring position on the stolen base. And as you see on the graphic there, that totals good for third place on the Nationals ball club. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Here's another 2 2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. A look at our line score here through the first four. And as we've mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. Digging in to try it again, Matt Wieters. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The set and the 1 1 pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Cespedes will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Here's Jason Worth. 0 for Jason 1 for him here Worth. in this one. A 1 1 on its way to work. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two hit the other way out toward right field. On the move is Bruce. And that ends the inning. Nationals leave one. They trail it here three to nothing. 
In is Curtis Granderson. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. Hits sharply toward the right side. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. He's fallen behind now. 3-1. Waiting his turn on deck. Yoannis Cespedes. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full. 3-2. One out, nobody on. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Once again, a 3-2. And a good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains 3-2. High in the air out to center field. Eaton is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The left fielder number Trying to pick things up where he left Yo off. Yoenis Yo Cespedes. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Here's the pitch. Three and two now. Three runs, six hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Another full count pitch home. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. And there to take it in is Granderson for the first out of the Your inning. Adam you. Lind will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone Adam in the inning. Lind. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The batter, shortstop, Trey Turner. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Ready to deliver the one and two. Curveball that time not even close. Well it's been a good outing so far but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think Dan. Yeah but for him Matt he's more pitch to contact kind of guy and obviously it's working so far and the way he pitches it really keeps his pitch count down. Yeah and with two outs the pitcher was mentally in the dugout already. Now Adam he's got to regroup Ethan. and find a way to get out of this. Hard not to feel for the guy. Into the box now. Adam Eaton. A swing and he pulls it down the line and deep. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead it's a long foul ball. 
Got him looking, and that ends the inning. One left for Washington. Still down 3-0. Joe Nathan enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 74, Joe Nathan. Digging in to try it again. David Wright comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. He'll try again one two. This is line to left in to cut it off is worth it's a base hit. So with that the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Well he had two strikes on the hitter perfect count well, put him away tried to elevate the fastball just Dang. didn't get it up there enough. Ooh. Jay Bruce will dig in again and as he does we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two run homer that was a big blow early on. Nobody out runner on first. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Well, this isn't how he wanted to start the inning. A leadoff single, and then you almost hit the next hitter. Composure. Got to try to get that ball with the plate and maybe get a ground ball. And there goes Wright. Swing and a looper to left. Here comes Worth. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Second baseman. Neil Digging in and looking Walker. for more, Neil Walker. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Runners on first with one down. Runners off for second. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. So he can't make contact there on strike three, but meanwhile, the runner on first takes second here with two men away. Riding in once again, Lucas Duda. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And to score, the runner from second. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Nathan's ready. Here's the 3 1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. All right, 3 2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Hit out towards second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Mets four and the Nationals nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here's Daniel Murphy now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Called the strike and it's full three and two. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. And he struck him out. 
Oh man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. In now, Bryce Harper. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Set to deal on two and two. And a neck-high fastball that time. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at-bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But... As a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to lead the ball up. But, man, he's been good so far. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Number 13 for him on the year. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Into the box, Anthony Rendon. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Ready on three and one, here's the pitch. And this is pulled hard, but foul. Hope they brought their gloves for that one out there. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Line drive to center field. Waiting on it is Granderson as he takes it for the second out. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Stepping in now, Matt Weeders. Now here's Weeders. High in the air and deep to right field. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Line hard, but foul. The payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a liner. Foul. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long A-B, but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have these kind of at-bats early in the game. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. Gone into the upper tank. So it's a solo shot off the bat of Matt Wieters. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Nationals are right back in it. It's now a 4-2 score. Mark this one down as a lesson for the young pitcher. Hitters at this level will just continue to spoil pitches they don't like until they get that pitch they do like. Guess what? He really liked that one. And now here comes Met skipper Terry Collins out to home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. You're Addison right, Reed plate. will come on These to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot now in the lineup on the double the switch spot. here. Number Rene three. Rivera is into the ball game as well three. as he'll slide into the now pitcher's spot, hitting the ninth spot. now on the double Number switch. Rene Rivera.
Into the box now, Jason Worth. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Tap down the line. That winds up foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Mets are out on top, four to two. And here comes Dusty out toward home plate as it looks like we're going to see a double switch here. Blake Trennan is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Derek Norris will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Now batting, Rene Rivera. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now, three and two. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. And he lays nope. off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Wow, you know he's not happy with that call. When it crossed the plate, it sure looked like a strike to me. Seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. Standing in now as Dribble Cabrera. Now a bunt attempt here. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. A left fielder number 50. Digging in once again, Joanna Cespedes. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 0 2 pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw in time at first for route number two. Ready once again, David Wright. He's one for two in the ball game. That one's in there, three and one. Well, I thought with two outs right there in that situation, he probably had the green light three and oh. Maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pitch he's looking for, so he took it. I think he's probably swinging here, too, three one. Harper giving chase, and that's the third out. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The next 3-2. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're now hanging on to a slim Catcher. lead, and the last Derek thing you want to do Norris. is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you, so we'll see if that's the case here. A runner at first with no outs here. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Now another one two. 
lined foul right over the Mets dugout. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Granderson going back. And as Nationals fans have heard before, see you later. Two run shot to straight away center. Fourth home run for him on the season, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. That is why you can't walk the leadoff hitter. A solo shot becomes a two-run homer, and the damage just kind of snowballs. Tough one to swallow. Into the box, Trey Turner. Pitch saws him off as this one's lifted in the air. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Little dribbler down the line. Wright's got to get rid of it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. How about him? In now is Adam Eaton. Adam 0 for 3 Eaton. with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And he's struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice Daniel before that one. Murphy. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Stepping in now, Daniel Murphy squared that one up just a little late. Payoff pitch one more time. Line towards center field. Solid base hit for him his first of the afternoon. So Bryce Harper will get a chance to hit here this inning following the base hit. I the gotta right think he was sitting on changeup 3-2. That was a nice Harper. pitch and he still got the base hit. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run. In now, Bryce Harper pitches a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional Third walk. Baseman, That's six. what's called getting the treatment. Anthony Everyone knows he's a Rendon. power threat with the bat, so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. In now is Anthony Rendon. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Hard hit towards center. And this is hauled in on the run as he takes quite a tumble but hangs on, and the inning is over. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. All even now at four apiece. Michael Taylor will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Now playing second base. Number three. Now the skipper's on his way Michael out toward the home plate Taylor. area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Sammy Solis will come on to pitch here, and he'll move into the number five spot in the lineup now on the double switch. Stephen Drew is into the ball game as well as a part of that aforementioned double switch as he'll take over in the number six spot in the lineup. Here's Jay Bruce now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind two and oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the now last man. thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Ready on one and two. And Walker will reach. It's a base hit. 
Crow will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. Well, that's his third hit of the night, and are you surprised? That's three singles. Now sits three for four with three singles. Not a bad night. called here is now with the important go base. ahead run at second base they'll opt to go and get Juan. a little more speed Juan. out there right. into the box now Lucas Duda and he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive you can pretty much count on a pitcher he's trying to get back in the strike zone and with two guys on base right here it's time to grip it and rip it three and one here you have to make a good pitch on the mound grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much for it. hit hard on the ground at first to second for one return throw gets him at first it's a three six one double play sharply hit here but right at the first baseman coming off the bag he makes a good throw and they complete the three six one double play with the throw back to the pitcher at first Jose Reyes will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot number seven Jose Reyes now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Fastball called strike. One and two. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And a curveball swung on and missed. And a great call there as the inning is over. Steven Bruce at the start things out when we return. Ninth inning coming up. And we are tied 4-4. Juan Ligaris will stick around as he'll take over in left. right field. Now playing right field, number 12, Juan Ligaris. Jerry Spamilia will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Stepping up to the plate, Stephen Drew. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Hard hit ball to second, taken by Walker. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Ready for another shot now, Jason Worth. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the one and two delivery. This is hit pretty well out to left field. Cespit is going back. It's out of here, and they've taken the lead in the ninth. Santa Maria. A solo home run for Jason Worth. Number 11 for him on the season, as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Standing in now, Ryan Zimmerman. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Hey, every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others. But the best ones, forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. And some dramatics here in the top of the ninth as this home run gives them the lead. Last chance coming up here for the Metropolitans. It's now 5-4 Washington. Oliver Perez enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Oliver Perez. Ready for another chance? Rene Rivera. And he will not be seeing the usual suspect close this game out as he's been given the day off by his manager to get a little rest. 
Yeah, he's worked a few days in a row, Matt, so we were told before the game by the skipper he wanted to avoid using him if possible. So that means they will look to close this thing out without him. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Wow, when I heard that and saw it leave his bat, I thought we were going to be all tied up, but it just didn't have enough to get out of here, so he's going to have to settle for a double. Tying run on second, and now things are officially getting interesting. At the plate, Curtis Granderson. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's the one and one delivery. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Pickoff move to second. Oh, and it froze him, and they got him. Set and the one two pitch and they'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. Now that's a slider that's pretty easy to recognize started on the outside you know it's going to continue to run off the plate but one that's difficult is that one that starts in at you and still breaks over the plate. As Dribble Cabrera will be next. Crowd gets up for the three two line to the right side. But this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Shortstop, number 13, Digging in the switch hitter Drupal. as Drupal Cabrera in his career versus this pitcher. He's gone three for six. And the pitch on two and one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he will make the catch to wrap this one up. And the Nationals have taken the first three games in this four-game set. They'll look to sweep tomorrow as the ball game is over. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. The Washington Nationals get the win on the heels of four home runs. Sammy Solis claims the win out of the pen his first. Oliver Perez hammers down the save his third of the campaign. So that'll just about do it for my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. This is Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. So long, everybody. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Washington Nationals. Five runs, six hits. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7 and 10. Ground ball to short. This should end it. Lindor sets. He throws. And the Cleveland Indians of 2016 have set the franchise record with their 14th